Today is day five of Advent, so let's open up compartment number five in this Bon Maman Advent calendar. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. It's right here. Let's see what's in it. And this is strawberry verbena spread. That sounds really good. I've decided to make some eggnog pancakes to go with the strawberry jam. The recipe makes eight to 12 pancakes and I don't want to make that many pancakes. So I cut it in half the best I could. The original recipe calls for one egg. So instead of using a whole egg, I'm only using the egg white. And here I have half a cup of flour and a pinch of salt. And I have half a tablespoon of sugar. The only sugar I have uh, is raw sugar in the house, so that is what I'm using. I'm adding half a teaspoon of baking powder, and those are my dry ingredients, which I am going to combine. And now let's add the wet ingredients. I'm gonna add a half a cup of eggnog. And this is almond nog. This is a non-dairy eggnog. Now I am going to add a tablespoon of melted butter. And then I'm going to add the egg white. And it looks like this made a little bit more than one cup of batter. I just plugged in my dash mini griddle, so we'll wait for it to heat up. Okay, the light just went off, so let's put some batter in there. I'm just gonna pour it in, I'm not gonna measure it. We'll just kind of eyeball it. It's a really thick batter. Okay, I don't want to put too much because I don't want it to rise and explode everywhere. Let's push it to the edges. Okay, that looks good. Let's cover that and let's cook it a few minutes. Okay, it's been about four minutes now, so let's check on this pancake. Let's see what's going on. That looks really good. It's a little bit browned in that one area, but let's see. Can we flip it over? It's very thin. And there's the other side. The other side is nicely browned. So let's cook that for about another minute and let's see uh, if the other side browns up a little bit. Okay, it's been another minute or so. Let's, let's see what's going on here. It smells really good. It smells really good. Yeah, the other side browned up a little bit. These pancakes are not rising very much, maybe because it only has egg whites in it. Maybe I need more batter. We'll try this one with a little bit more batter. We'll see what happens. And we'll shut that. We'll cook that for about five minutes. Okay, it's been four minutes. Let's check out this second one and see what's going on here. Yeah, that looks a lot better. So the first one did not have enough batter in it. This looks really good. It's hard to get under it with this little sp spatula thing. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. This is a beautiful pancake. So we'll just let it cook another minute. Okay, it's been another minute. Let's take this out. It looks so good. So I'm gonna make sure I put plenty of batter in this one. I don't wanna put too much batter in though. I think that'll be good, right? Put a little bit more. We want it to be nicely filled, but not overflowing. So that looks, it's nicely filled, it's not overflowing. 
We'll cook that for five minutes. All right, it's been five minutes. Let's look at this. It looks so good. This one's even bigger than the last one. Yeah, these are, these are like picture perfect. There's still more batter, probably enough batter for one more. This might be a thin one. So actually, if I had put enough batter in the first one, this uh, would have made three nice size pancakes. So um, right now, instead of um, three nice size, I'm going to have two nice size and then two thin ones. But that's okay. They're still going to taste fine. But when I make this recipe again, I'll know how much batter to put in the mini griddle and I'll know to make three pancakes with it. What I found when I use this griddle is sometimes a recipe will rise more than another recipe will. And I don't like it when I overfill it and it just rises too much and leaks over the side and everything. So I'd rather underfill it than overfill it. And usually when you make anything, the first one's usually like a test case anyway. So I'll be back in a few minutes and we'll check on this pancake. All right, it's been about five minutes. So let's check this out. Looks good. Looks really good. And there we have a beautiful stack of eggnog pancakes. Today I'm only going to eat two of the pancakes and I can't wait to try them with this jam. This is the strawberry verbena spread. And I forgot to read the ingredients. The ingredients are strawberries, sugar, brown cane sugar, verbena extract, concentrated lemon juice, and fruit pectin. So that sounds really good. Let's open it. really nice let's let's actually I'm gonna taste it I'm gonna taste a little bit first I like to taste a little bit before I put it on anything I don't know what verbena tastes like so I'm really just tasting a lot of strawberry which I like I love uh, strawberry jam uh, especially homemade strawberry jam even though I have to say um, the raspberry jam yesterday or the raspberry fruit spread yesterday was so good and I liked it a lot better than I like this one. So far out of all the ones that I've tasted, this one is probably the one that I like the least only because we make uh, homemade strawberry jam from um, locally grown strawberries and I mean you can't get anything better than that so uh, that's just going to be my bias. Let's taste it with the pancake. It's so good. Like it's really good on the pancake. The pancake's good. The jam is good. Or excuse me, the fruit spread is good. So, so yummy. I want to taste the pancake without the strawberry on it. It would be nice if these pancakes were a little bit fluffier, so I don't know if um, I should have put in a little bit more baking powder or if it needed uh, more flour. Or it could be the kind of flour that I'm using. So I did not use regular all-purpose flour. Um, I actually used einkorn flour, which is an ancient wheat. So I don't know if that's affecting the recipe, uh, but I... I normally do like pancakes that are a little bit fluffier than this, but I mean, it's still good. It's still really tasty. I'm still really happy to eat it. And I don't know why this plate keeps rotating like this. It's so strange. And so that is how you can make eggnog pancakes in a dashed mini griddle. If this video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like me to post more videos. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.